All right, I'm going to start this out now. <coughs> this is the camper right here that's going towards the back where the turtles are. Let me go this way. Marguerite's old car. The place in the uh, summertime, everybody leaves. It's empty. But this fence I made out of old PVC that the guy had laying around, and I painted it, uh, and I made this little thing out of wood, Campbell's. And that's the camper there. We're, see, we're at the end, which is nice, all woods. So... There's a little dog park over there. It's closed in, but I'll walk this way. See, behind all that is all open. He owns 30 acres over there. He's gonna turn into another camp, but that's where the turtles dig underground in huge, big sand pits. You just put in a new leech field. I'll tell you what, Florida can't be known for its fucking drinking water, I'll tell you that. It's well water, it's horrible. But if you don't look at it when you're making coffee, it's fine. You the white sand. I'll walk the whole perimeter. I don't know what's going on back there. What's back there? I don't know what you're talking about. What? <laughs> this guy up here we're coming up to him it's like a junker I just put that uh, <clears throat> uh, shed in there for all his tools because he had everything laying out in the yard here that cat right there lets our German shepherd lick it and rub it with his head and stuff is a lunatic should be on TV right kitty cat right kitty Wow. What are you doing? Come here, you knucklehead. You're a kook. See how he rolls like that and the dog licks him and everything? You're a knucklehead. You're a knucklehead. Yes, you are. All right, bro, I appreciate it.
coming around to the junk piles. <laughs> He's got a lot of, uh, I don't know what they are for, they're big nets and stuff. And I guess to break off the shells that are stuck in them, he lays them down in the road and you drive over them and I guess it breaks all the shells off of them. What any junk you have, you throw up here, pile of metal. You know, you can build an arc welder out of these, uh, these old microwaves. Here's a junk and stuff microwave see the see the the nets and that's where the leach field is up here all that green It's only, uh, what did I say, 10 acres? 20 acres, I don't know. The 80 sites in the uh, summer here, there's only 30 of them taken, but the winter they're all full, 80 of them. They had a, uh, if you ever want to get stuck somewhere, there's a you know, some guy in a, had a Winnebago Travago, I think it was called, small, like 16 foot, but it's got some special lithium battery system in it, and solar, and all the water lines are inside. You know, all the anything to do with water is inside. So if you drove in a ice cold place. Your water lines would never freeze. You could actually live in the winter in this thing. These are all these are all filled up, all these spots with real nice RVs. But a lot of people leave their RV here. They pay them forty dollars a month, and then they come back uh, next October. That's the. Uh, a dining hall where sometimes they have cookouts and stuff and there's a basketball thing there and the laundry room and the office is up here. I'll walk by the office and then I'll walk back down. And this is the gas station right across the street. If you want a half a gallon of milk, it's like $4.50. Because they know you got to drive a long way to get it. Propane. <laughs> this is where you drive in. Right there. This is a little office. I'll show you his antenna. I don't know if you'd be able to see it. Should be able to. See in the background. I never saw 10 pounds of ice for $2, but that's what it is. I'm going to cut through to the little swimming pool. Women boo. Mail room if you got mail. Pool table. The TV you can use. It's hooked to satellite. Ah, uh, shit. What else? You know, mop me up some dust here. Uh, laundry. And this is his house. He built this house here on the campground. He lives on that one of his houses. I 
Let me see if he, oh, he might have gone for a wheel on, um, but all kinds of stuff here that he's got. Let's see if that four wheeler's in there. Yeah. He's got all kinds of RVs that are his that are just lined up. He just bought that container back there for more storage. He's got every toy you can think of, but he's just a normal guy. You know, he'd probably let you use anything you wanted. I know he has with me with any tool or anything. He said, just put it back when you're done. I got to change my strut and he's going to lend me a spring compressor. When we first came here, that was our original site right over there where that yellow truck is. And then we wanted to move to the back. Because right... Because right here, all the, every car that comes into the place or every camper drives right by you. So, but you, you can't hear anything here. There's no noise ever. Oop. I'm going to cut through. I just walked around basically the whole thing. Uh... I get up closer here. Yeah, like I said, the dog park's right there. Hey. Howdy. And uh, let's see. So a lot of airstreams come in. Parking here. Cut through. But I like being back here in the corner where we are. The only traffic is what if you live down in this corner. And we're approaching our home. What I want to do is I want to get some bricks uh, to put a pathway right here. See, this is the RV with a Reflectix on it. Put the pathway right here. There's our outdoor refrigerator there. I put that up to keep the rain from coming from behind. Uh, let's see. The fire thing we got there. Oh, nice little front yard. I'll show you the back. Here's our grill. It's a Dynaglow. I think it was at Walmart. It was like 110 bucks or something like that. And so we don't have to keep filling the internal tank. I got a connection so I can hook a tank outside and then when I run out and just bring it up and get it filled up otherwise you'd have to drive the fucking camper up there and this is the back where the turtles come out nothing out now but it's all all nice <laughs> you'd like to own that that's for sure and this is the back um, it's it's hard to come to the realization that, you know, this is where you live and it's just like having a house somewhere and this is where you're going to be. So I'm going to start adding to it as we get money, doing little stuff. Electric, and the water. Pretty intelligent of whoever designed it to put the fucking water directly above the electric. And those are, I could show you our shit coming down if you wanted to see it, but we'll wait. Now, 
That's where I become beautiful, you know. I was trying, you're supposed to start your generator periodically. And the next, last time I tried to start, it wouldn't start. And I went through all kinds of stuff trying to figure out before I realized that you have to have a half a tank of gas in a camper for it to work. The hose only goes down in the tank so far, uses the same gas as the thing does to run. But so you don't pull over somewhere and run your generator and then get up in the morning and try to start the thing and the generator used all your gas, it shuts off at about a half a tank. I had to make this ramp for the dog. I don't know if you can see inside. Hey, Buster. Stove. This is the light I was talking about. <laughs> it throws off some light. I put the little rack up for pans and shit. Papers. There's another light over here. The, bathroom. the table folds down. You can sleep there. Uh, you painted the ceiling. TV. This folds out. You painted the ceiling. Yeah, we painted the ceiling with some paint we had. Shit. Chihuahua. Where is he? Cat. See the light that's there? That's what you're talking about. Your dome lights, I'm sure. And then you got these bad boys, which are nice. You can see what the fuck you're doing. There's the refrigerator. Ah, uh, let's see. That's uh, going into the bedroom. And there's storage under the bed. Let me turn this light on. Bathroom. <laughs> I painted that too. Fucking around with different designs and shit. And there's a shower. I had to change that. Uh, the hot water valve was no good. You see the white thing I put on. That whole setup was $12 online. And there's the turret lettuce piece of shit stuck on the corner there if you want a close up. <laughs> turret paper. Dog is having a lot of trouble. It's going to be the saddest day of my life when that happens. And you got uh, these cabinets here. Uh, they have it wired and everything for another air conditioner. Um. There's the wiring comes right to that plate. But a 30 amp, which this is 30 amps, you can't run to fucking uh, uh, 13,500 BTU air conditioners. You got to have a 50 amp. So, uh, there's a microwave. Yeah, uh, but we don't use. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Fans, all we need for a few days. The table and the couch fold out into a bed. I told them that. Uh, let's see. I'll go back it's out. The big vault we don't use. <laughs> yep. Hey, Card. Hey, puppy. Dad, love you. And I will get out here. There's a swing we bought. Oh, shit. The swing I got her. And the fire pit, and uh, see what I show you about the meters. You can see, well, you can't read it, but it's a digital thing. So, uh, oh, yeah, we're on and uh, it's pretty comfortable, pretty comfortable. So, uh I'm not walking back there. If there was a turtle back there, I'd go back there. But I cleared this out and cut a piece of fence out of here. Oh, that's all I'll show you. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. It's 31 foot. Hold on for a second.
that's what I got for the antenna for the four bay. I let you have it for ninety five bucks. Uh oh. Actually, she might have the screen except for one little corner of it. And it might behoove us to uh, mail that down there. So, glad I brought my ladder. <coughs> I took that ladder off that you climb up the back because uh, on our way down here, we stayed in some uh, oddball places, and I didn't want to, even though I had a gun next to me at night, I didn't want somebody climbing up and causing all kinds of fucking problems. So I took that off and brought that ladder. And so, it's now or never more than ever. That's it. On the Campbell front line, and now you know the rest of the story. Paul Harvey, good day.